Those reports, Mr Speaker, and they concern me, as I know they will concern the Honourable Gentleman and many other people in the House. So the, the aim of this clause is not, I think the Leader of the House suggested yesterday, to create a marionette government, but I would argue to give the government the time it needs to do its job. And I say that because it's not clear what is happening at the moment, as we discussed yesterday, how much negotiation is actually taking place when no proposals have been made. Now, and it's really very hard to understand that, since I would have thought the government was working flat out since July. <laughs> now, even if agreement was reached, I think it's also important to make the point that it's very hard to see how you could then get the House's approval and pass all the legislation by between the 18th of October or so and the 31st. Now, the final point, Mr Speaker, I want to make is this. What would happen if we left with no deal? The Prime Minister talks about getting it done and ending the uncertainty. But the truth is, and the Honourable Member made the point so powerfully, no deal does not end anything. It would simply plunge us into greater uncertainty of all. Uncertainty, no, I'm going to bring my remarks to a close. Uncertainty about the degree and length of disruption, uncertainty about the border arrangements in Northern Ireland, uncertainty about what our future relationship, trading relationship, would be with our biggest, nearest and most important trading partners, the other members of the European Union. And given that it's taken three years to get this far, in other words, not very far at all, and given that it took Canada seven years to negotiate a deal, and the Prime Minister says he wants a super Canada uh, deal, it's going to take years to agree a new relationship, and every single EU member state and every single EU member state parliament and regional parliament will have to agree to any deal. No deal will not be the end of Brexit, it will only be the end of the beginning. And in, the time, in that time, faced with the degree of uncertainty, businesses are going to have countless decisions to make about where to invest, what to make and where and what to do about the sudden disappearance of all the arrangements that they have come to know and work within and the sudden imposition of tariffs. Mr Speaker, it would be utterly irresponsible to allow this to happen. We have a duty to prevent it, and I hope the House will vote for this.